Welcome back to Boost in Motion. And today I want to talk about something a little different. Um, I want to thank Sam Crack and other YouTube bloggers that um, let us know about Copart and or IAA auctions and how dealers would actually buy cars, win the auction, and doctor up the cars and then put it back through the auction just to make a small profit. It's something similar to what they do in wholesaling where they buy a house, fix it up a little bit, and resell it for a higher value. But at least with owning a home, there's a lot more rules and regulations with it. Now, let's start with this 2016 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport. Now, me being an Infiniti person, one of the biggest giveaways about this doctorate up car is the front bumper. This is a non-sport bumper. This is usually found on the 3.0T, 300 horsepower one, or even the 2.0T and or the old bumper from the 3.7 from 2014 to 2015. Now, there are slight damages to the front of the car such as some done to the hood. The bumper clip seem like it's not in on the right side. Um, the door looks a little bit off-centered, and the, the side balance on the passenger side looks a little bit dented up. If you look, if you look at the, the top of the roof and some of the window, the window looks like it's replaced because they left the serial number on it. But if you look at the other parts around the car, it doesn't really look bad at all. It doesn't look too bad. It, 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 the car looks like it's leaning down a little bit to, more to the passenger front, maybe because the tires are flat. But me knowing that this car, one of the biggest things is it comes with a standard BBK. You see the red calipers by the wheels. This is usually, in 2016, this was only um, uh, uh, on the Q50 Red Sport. Once it got to 2017, 2018, correct me if I'm wrong, now the Sport, 300, the regular 3.0T, which we call the Silver Sport, would have the calipers as an option too. But in 2016, from what I remember, it wasn't an option. So this was one of the dead giveaways. Now, one thing that Sam Crack and other YouTubes taught me is you look up the VIN number and there's different um, websites you can do. I think you go to vehiclehistoryreport.com and you can put the VIN number in. They'll let you know about accidents. But also when you put it through Google, it Copart, you know, Google is pretty much like a time capsule. It saves everything. So you put the VIN number in and you go through images and or just a regular search and you'll then find if there's any old pictures that's similar to it. So try to compare the wheels, the body color and everything. And and piece the resistance. Look, the car is suffering severe front end and undercarriage damage. Even the roof line has been dented and the windshield have been replaced. The passenger side fender mirror. And from what I can tell you about this new motor is the oil pan is made out of plastic. So if this stuff suffers severe undercarriage damage, that means it's a cradle oil pan. This motor might have been leaking oil and coolant, front radiator support, front bumper. The list goes on and on. We don't know if this car even comes with the the uh, electric steering system. So there's a lot of damage that could be done here. But these dealers and other people who buy these cars and fix them up and put them back through the auction sit there and they literally just cover it up because they didn't replace anything here. This this car is still damaged all the way under here. All they did is put a Band-Aid on the front of it to look prettier. But there's way more extensive damage that we just cannot see here. And you just guys just got to be aware and be careful when it comes to this BS. Now, I'm no way against Coport and IA, all these other auto auctions. But I believe that this practice of buying a car and patching it up or doctoring it up to resell it for a higher value is kind of cruddy. Now, there's no laws or violations against doing this. But I think this is really one of the downturns for this type of industry where these people or dealers could buy a car and pretty much patch it up and just resell it to a, to a person that really doesn't know too much. It's really pretty much just scamming someone who don't know anything. And I really wish that there was more regulation with this and or there was more transparency. I mean, at the end of the day, if just by put, looking up the VIN and put, making it available and looking it up online, this is one of the best ways to know what's really going on in this industry and or what's going on with the cars you may be look, looking to purchase because it's just completely ridiculous. I just really think that Copart or IA or any of these auto auctions could just keep a better tab of have this car been here previously and or keep the search history up. Like if you want to go on a site and the VIN comes up again, it should be able to show that this car was, re was resold and it should still have pictures concurrent on a site. But I guess 
the overhead doesn't really want to look into that because at the end of the day, Copart is still trying to make a money, a certain amount of money off of each of these cars. So if they were just tra transparent about their cars being resold, resold, they would yield less money and less revenue because of these specific issues. So, I mean, I really wish that this type of um, this type of transactions will not continue to happen. But, hey, I guess this is just what the name of the game is. And it's been this way for decades now. And um, the all I could say to my fellow YouTuber is watch out for these specific scams. Research, research, learn and learn. At the end of the day, we may find some good deals out there. But as Sam Crack and other YouTubers have taught me and continue to hopefully y'all guys teach y'all is the, act, the fact of looking things up and become more knowledgeable of whatever you want to go into. Because at the end of the day, this is your money and they're taking your money and they're taking a piece of it. So they're not going to care about your interest because at the end of the day, money is money. So everyone, thank you for watching this short video. I hope you learned something new. And um, continue to like and subscribe. I'm going to have different type of content up. Just talking about automotive world and automotive prospects that I've come across or just anything. I'm just a regular car guy like everyone else that's subscribing. And I, I like to talk about almost any and everything. Yeah, have a great day.